Good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. But truly, this is a remarkable stadium, the Allianz Arena, a symbol of cutting-edge technology and architectural perfection. This is the lineup we've been given. How do you read it, Jim? Reminders of a, a golden era in English football, I should add. And it continues to hold its place in the modern game. Playing a second striker runs the risk of being outnumbered in midfield, of course. So, with the wider pairing and fullbacks, plenty of running has to be part of their play. And, of course, the right service into the box. the whistle and here we go Ayu Tate doesn't get the pass he's looking for that intervention was very necessary Ayu just brushed off the ball there. Tate, Christian Atsu. Good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? He's got options out wide. for a goal kick. And the referee's pulled play back and has booked him for the original offence. Whistle's gone, that's uh, foul. And let's be lenient here. And again, he'll get too many more chances. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Dashing forward at pace. And it's Ayu. And here's Atsu. Ghana still to register a shot on target. Christian Atsu. Partey. Has a goal! And he's there to make a great save. Partey is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Play back and showed him a yellow card.
And it's been taken short. And the shot! No attempt, just the wrong outcome. Ball is over the line. And the through ball is intercepted. Cuts it out. Hoists it forward. Goes for goal! Is it out of harm's way? Forward it goes. Brings it forward. Bayou. Great run on the overlap here. Tries to get it forward quickly. Right now, what's on? Oh, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. And no surprise, that's a booking. <laughs> Corner given. Nigeria have a free kick. It is another opportunity from a set piece they have here. This is a great chance to take a lead. A disappointing effort, didn't even get past the wall. Plays it out to the flank. Has gone out. Lings in across. And the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Well, it really is one cross after another. Well, with a target to hit, why not keep up the supply? It's simple and, and efficient because they all know what they're doing. Great strength on the ball. And it's Ayu. Ayu looking to ten. Ayu! Lacking in accuracy. Andre Ayu certainly caught it well enough, but that was never really going to trouble the keeper. He's gone for it! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Andre Ayu certainly displayed his fine technique, but the keeper was never really in trouble. Goes for goal! Oh, that is rather wayward.
ball's loose, who's getting there? Oh, real danger here! It's a loose ball. Oh, shooting chance! There it is! Deep into first half stoppage time, a crucial goal! And that's it, that was always inevitable. And there's the end of the first half. So there you have it, a close fought half of football. But well, it still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. <laughs> Not the most convincing of displays. They could certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence, and not rush into mistakes. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Ghana need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. It's a great gallop down the right-hand side. And it's played forward. And here's Ayu. Ayu. Well positioned to make that interception. That's a bad place to challenge. What's he giving? No, the referees judged that the offence took place outside the area. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. So what can they conjure from this one? Amate, real chance! Oh, good effort, he got plenty on that. Ah, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. Has a look and has a go. Oh, that was no routine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Good running with the ball, can they build on it? He's had a goal! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class weight. He's pulled play back and has booked him for the original offence. That's not going to make it. Ayu has been found. Played into space out wide, breaks on here. In comes the cross. Good idea, just poorly executed. That's an untidy challenge, free kick given. Ayu. Ayu goes looking. No, no way through there. Hoists it forward. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Goalkeeper's ball. And it's Ayu. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, the time has arrived to start taking risks. They may well be happy just to level this. No, that's not the ball he wanted. Had a foul. Yes, the uh, referee's given it. And he has shown him a yellow card.
Ghana are definitely going about this the right way. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Ayu. Finds himself eased off the ball. And that's surely a foul free kick. Nigeria get it back again. Amati gets into the right position to intercept. Ayu. He gets past his man. It's Atsu! Oh, should have been the equaliser. Oh, he can't hide away from how important that was. Nigeria are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. And the finish! They've done it! Two ahead, late in the day, game over, surely. And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. So that's two now without reply. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Nigeria really are enduring a, a frustration. It's one! Oh, it looked like 3-0 for sure. He'll be fuming with himself for not converting. He could have killed it off. And here's Ayu, loses his balance and loses the ball. Christian Atsu. And that's been won straight back. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Well, some of the players here are letting their emotions get the better of them. They do have to be careful. This must not be inflamed any further. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Ghana with the chance now to pull one back. Short tries of shots! A real chance and a real let-off. Official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Forward it goes. And through to the goalkeeper. And the referee brings it to a close. Well, much worthy industry, but that alone simply not enough. They are beaten by the better side. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? It's a poor result. They offered very little goal threat, and it's the kind of unproductive performance that can drain confidence pretty quickly. At the business end, they just can't close a deal.
So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a 